Well now, this seems like a fun one. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at a game by the name of Cold Ridge. This is a free demo of a game that looks a lot like a civilization game, but also a little bit Oregon Trail, or maybe something along the lines of, uh, well, Age of Empires 3 too comes to mind with that Western campaign for me. Although it plays something completely different, a game that's a roguelike game, a Western, focusing on exploration horses, and is an indie game that you can try right now. Again, it's got a wonderful little demo. So let's go ahead and jump in and take our first look at Cold Ridge and see what it's all about. Oh, and before we jump in, make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button, and go ahead and leave a comment down below on what you like about the game, and or ask some questions about others, leave some other suggestions for more games in the future, and just say hi. Well, hello. Good. Let's go and take our first look at Cold Ridge. Hello, Lemmy. So, you're prospector now. Well, there's not much to it, you know. We just earn our keep by wandering this land find riches. But when we find something, well, the guild wants its cut. We start in the spring and work until the first snow. Because when it comes, then I hope you've met your quota. Or you will end up just like the rest of the land. I got it. So meet your quota or end up dead. Got you. <laughs> Eight days until the end of the expedition. Uh, let's see. OG here. Uh, guild objective. I guess this is our guild master here. Choose your contracts. Uh, what do we need to do? Looks like uh, we'll have to gather uh, wood. Maybe that's gold. Bison, deer. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go with, uh, I guess, a basic one. How about that? Uh, redraw contract. Pay a fee to change the contract or accept. All right, we'll do just that. In fact, let's go ahead and accept them all because we really have no idea what we're doing. Next. Okay, so we'll need to go around and look for these things, I suppose. So we have ourselves some trees here. Ah, okay, so we're collecting those for the contracts. Oh, and it looks like multiple contracts can be completed with the same material. We have ourselves some uh, of those bison there. And here, maybe? Okay. Oh, and it looks like prairie grass. That's what that was. All right, so we got to find prairie land. And we also need to find some deer. So we've got one of those goals on the first contract complete. There we go. Yeah, so it certainly reminds me of Civ with the hexagons. That's about as far as it goes. Also reminding me of, like, you know, when you build your first city. But um, then is uh, certainly uh, Oregon Trail vibe with the little settlers' wagons that we see all over. Uh, we need to find some more bison, shall we? Oh, there they are again. Oh, but we can only mark them with the red flag, showing where our expedition was. Um, we could go down this way. Oh, so we've only got a limited amount of moves. Uh, so we could go that way. And we need one more for the first contract. All right, contract done. And then let's see if we can find some more bison. We've got a little bit more moves, and then... Oh, we got to return to the city. Okay. So we were not able to get that last contract done, but... We should be able to gain uh, 150 plus 40, and then negative 30 for not completing the last one. Nice. Okay, I got the basics then. Money gained from the expedition, 160 gold. So then we've only lost 30 from the uh, total. At the end of the expedition, the guild will collect resources on claimed tiles. Only terrain remains. Oh. So we're playing as a scout. And then the settlers go out and gobble everything up. All right, we can buy consumable items at the city merchant. They'll help us during our expedition. Okay, so we can go further and further with these little modifiers. Now, from what I understand, is the full version of the game. We'll have many, many more of these so we can see what they are. Uh, gold map. Looks like it'll reveal, uh, reveal gold. Well, pretty much everything related to gold. Uh, elk or wood. Uh, well, uh, I guess I'll go with just the gold. Uh, everything else seems easy to find, although uh, the further and further we get away from the town, the more barren resources will be, so we can try to go south this time, or north or west. You can claim the same tile for several contracts, so try to synergize while choosing them. Okay. Well, we know we can get through grassland now, and there's certainly a lot of grassland. Well, uh, forest and grassland, so we can combine those together. Looks like there's uh, grassland, plains, and then maybe we'll just call that mountains or whatever. It's not really mountain, but... Uh, I don't know. Mud, whatever. 
Let's take the last contract, too. There is a debuff for taking, or a negative for taking those contracts, but we're more likely to find them. I mean, right here we've got three right off the bat. So let's go. Oh, perfect. Uh, don't forget to use your items you bought. Oh, yes. Um, I wonder if they're actually used up after our initial run. I'm going to not use them to see if that actually makes a difference. We've got more grasslands we need to find, so let's go that away. And we're going to keep moving that away. Looks like there's a question mark there, but why? We've already completed that contract, but let's go to the question mark. You found a roaming merchant. They sell permanent items that give you bonuses or abilities. Well, hello there. Uh, let's see. The Pony Express, permanent item. You can jump over the next tile if you continue in the same direction. Whoa. Don't have enough gold for that. We're short on 10, darn. Uh, maybe they'll be around later. We can come back here. Uh, you can only claim tiles for which you have corresponding contracts. Ah. So some of these will wa be washed up then. Okay, so we found plus two, plus three, and plus four. Oh, okay. Are we at the end of our turn? Oh, we are. But we completed all of our contracts, so that's good. Better this time than the last. As Guild's Master, I must remind you that efficiency is paramount in this operation. We simply cannot afford any delays or mistakes in our pursuit of profit. Ah. America. True American right there. Let nothing stand in your way of exponential profits to appease the shareholder at all times. Okay, back to our merchant. Hmm. We can create a portal. We got a world map. Looks like our map from before stayed with us, so that's interesting. Uh, reveal an, a range of two tiles around the player. That's good. I'd like that. Let's go ahead and buy both of those. What's this one? Exploration lasts one more day. Oh, I'll take that too. Now, what happens when we get 500 gold? We get our guild objective done. We're about almost halfway there, so let's move over this way too to that question mark right off the bat. Oh, we're going to get 116 gold per muddy tile. Oh, damn. Can't say no to that one. More deer, those seem plentiful. And more deer. That'll actually double down. It seems like those stack, so can't say no to that. Go explore to find undiscovered resources. It's a gamble, but it's the only way. All right, well, let's start with the uh, elk. Oh, yeah, immediately. First move, completed two contracts. I mean, that was indisputable. Uh, plus one when claiming bison. So we'll get an extra bison if we do that. Uh, it's a little spendy at 70, so thanks, but no thanks. Uh, let's see. Well, we got to keep finding more dirt tiles, so let's go up that way. And we should be able to recycle these. I'm sorry. I read that as 116, but it's actually 11 gold per tile. But, I mean, that's pretty hard to say no to that. Oh, darn. We can't make two more. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's use this. We're going to make our expedition last one more day. A lost prospector. Oh, he has a contract for us to get four bison. I wouldn't be able to do that in uh, a day. What else you got? Seven gold per bison. What else you got? Five trees. Uh, I wouldn't even be able to do that either. Sorry. Too bad it doesn't carry over, but uh, we tried. Uh, you have a limited number of expeditions in the year. Mm, four expeditions left for year one. So we got four expeditions to make your... Uh, 500 gold in one year. That kind of reminds me of Lethal Company, right? Like you're supposed to go to multiple different planets and get a certain amount of money by the end of a week and then otherwise you're toast. So this will probably be the same thing plus exponential um, amounts of money that are due each year. Okay, because inflation. I wonder what they're gathering from the blank muddy tiles. I don't know. Maybe they're making uh, clay bricks out of them or something. Okay, we still have our other abilities to see around us. Maybe we'll start using those too. Uh, let's see. Near, nearest tile containing elk. Random area of range 2 on the map. That's 30 gold. I'm going to try to hit the money. Let me try to hit the money first. We'll go for the mud and the deer. Easy. Okay, let's go south. And start hitting the deer. We need to find... Uh, well, we actually got seven of them that we need. Oh, looks like we found something new here. The Roaming Merchant again. Woodworker. Plus one when claiming wood. For 50. No thanks, pal. 
Oh, what is this? Is that a bear? Oh, it's the merchant from before. And the Pony Express again. Wow, 150 for that one. Let me skip that for now. I at least want to complete the first year before we start taking risks. And we need to return to the city. As our expedition has come to an end. But let's go ahead and use this to search before we go back. And now we know that there's two areas of bonus down here. Failing one mission? No, actually, uh, that contract had no fail. Woo, we did it. 555. As Guildmaster, I must remind you that efficiency is paramount in these operations. We simply cannot afford any delays or mistakes in, in the pursuit of profit. I think you said that last time, sir. He is pushy. Actually, these characters kind of remind me a little bit of Darkest Dungeon, but just not as terrifying. Good money. Hmm. Well, I think I'm okay with that. Go ahead and go with next. If you're not satisfied with the proposed contracts, you can try to redraw, but beware of the fee. Mm-hmm. I'll, uh, I'll take the gold one. I see four right off the bat. I'll take the grass one. I see those, and we're heading down this way to grassland anyway, so this seems fine to me. And let's try to make our way to the bison. And the question mark. Roaming merchant again. Plus one when claiming elk. You know, I wonder if this is only per... I think they mentioned something about permanent, but I think maybe it might be per day or something, or per expedition. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Still don't want that one, though. Let's go up this way. And we should have all of our moves right here. Ah, oh, we're missing one. Uh, let's look around, though. Another couple of tiles to see. And let's see. Ah, perfect. More scouting. Excellent. We don't really get too far away from the base, do we? But we're at 600 gold, so that's good. Some resources are rarer than others. They give more money on contracts. Uh, common is wood, elk, bison, and gold is rare. And then we've got prairie, dry grass, and mud, which is rare. Okay. So... Yeah, okay. There they go. Hmm. What do you got at the shop, pal? Uh, I'll take now those two for now. Hmm. Now we gotta find more animals and grass. I'm gonna take them all again. Seems to be more beneficial. Okay, so uh, let's head north. Got to start finding some animals here. There's some trees up that away. Ooh, we're going to run out of moves. I don't think I can go through. Well, maybe. At least get three of these guys, I think. No, just two. Well, wait a minute. Let's go up here. Contract. Hmm. Well, I wonder if we can do these in the future. You'll pay if the contract is not fulfilled. Yeah, that might be right at the end of that. I feel like that should be at the end of the year, or I would like more clarification there. I believe it, it would be at the end of this run, expedition, but... I feel like it could also be at the end of the year because we have to go quite a long way to get it and also it's a little heftier than others. So let's do a test here. I'm going to assume that we're going to fail this, but let's just accept it in order to know. And then we can also cancel if we want to. So let's see. Ah, that's good. So it actually accounted for things that we found in the past or maybe not. Hmm. Ah, so that does count as a failure as well. Bringing us all the way down. Oh, Sag. Let's see what happens when we get thrown out. So we definitely had the 500, but I'm more curious to know what happens when we uh, don't make our way through. Oh, look at that. It tells you how much you had. Great. 
Final balance, we were short 137. You must understand that the guild tax is necessary to fund our operation and ensure the prosperity of all members. Without it, we would not have the resources to provide you with the support and infrastructure needed to carry out your expedition safely and efficiently. He's calling. He's, we're dead. Hate to see it come to this, partner. You gave it your all, but the guild's got their rules, and they ain't got no mercy. Cheers me up knowing that you'll be out there in the cold. So, yeah, I guess a giant storm comes through and mixes up the world. So it's kind of the roguelike method of that but roguelite implies that we're able to keep some things so let's see what we actually happen to keep just uh remember that you face the cursed land with more courage than most wish i was there uh i wish there was more i could do my friend rules are rules there's no room for slackers here Pla uh, pack up get out of the city now someone will escort this failure out can't contribute you got no place among us among us you're acting pretty sus sir uh, you stand at the city gates, bitter wind biting at your skin as you clutch your meager belongings. Your face shows a mix of despair and resignation. Hollow eyes from the weight of your fate. Or eyes hollow from that. Uh, the city's imposing walls, once a symbol of safety, now loom behind you like a cruel barrier. A small crowd gathers. Their, wow, this is really dramatic for me just dying. Uh, their expressions blend of curiosity and sorrow. Guildmaster, cold and stern, uh, gives a curt nod to, to the guards, devoid of compassion. The guards roughly grab your arms, dragging you towards the gate. Frenchy watches from a distance, tipping his hat in a silent farewell. His eyes filled with sorrow. He gives you a nod of acknowledgement, a silent protest against the unfairness. The heavy gate creak, uh, gates creak open, unveiling a desolate, frozen wasteland filled with bears. Wait, no, that's not what it says. Uh, the wind howls, a chilling reminder of the harsh world outside. The guards push you forward, and you stumble into the snow, gate slamming shut behind you with finality. With a heavy heart, you turn away and begin your lonely walk into the icy wilderness. The bitter cold seeps into your bones, and each step struggles against the inevitable. The city fades from view, leaving you alone in the relentless grip of winter. Oh, there you go. Okay, well, let's do this again. We were pretty close. In fact, I was kind of more curious as to see what would happen with the um, with the uh, native that we found out there. So, an unfortunate that it counts against you if you don't have the contract, like, kind of done in advance or whatever. Uh, in the full adventure, you'll discover unique objects uh, that will change your play style. Oh, that must be the, the permanent section. Uh, you'll get to unlock new characters with special... Uh, capacities each bring in their own unique skills to help you outsmart difficulties. You learn how to master the curse, turning its power to your advantage and thrive in this untamed land. This reminds me a little bit of the long dark for whatever reason, uh, you know, with the winter thing implying, but I guess when the winter comes, it changes up the whole map that's kind of cursed. So a little among snakes, too. So keep your hat on and your eyes sharp because the full game promises to be one heck of a ride. Thanks for playing. We hope to see you back in the saddle soon. Well, I'm hopping ba back in the saddle right now. I want one more run. That was kind of just an experiment to see what the hell would happen, but we'll skip the intro, and then we'll jump right into uh, just kind of going through everything as quick as possible. Okay, let's accept everything. We know it's pretty good to uh, immediately just start, so uh, we're going to go for the bison, I think, or the trees. Let's go east. Or west, sorry. East is a giant mountain, so we're kind of blocked there. Ah, we could do this contract, though, and we'll take that. So we got more trees down this way. Another tree down this way. I don't think we're going to get the last one with the five bison. You need to find another prairie land, which we did. More bison here. Brings us up to three. And there's gold in them there hills. Mm, nothing really we could do about that. So we'll have, uh, what, two completed contracts? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Negative 16 gold. <laughs> uh, there you go. I always usually, I don't know about you guys, but oftentimes whenever I go into my first run, I always get beginner's luck. The least I know, the more lucky I am or the more cautious I am. But then when I start to experiment and really try to figure out the game, that's when I try to take risks and really like goof up. So my first run or two are great. Then I have like 10 bad ones in a row. Then I just start like combining luck and knowledge from my previous runs into something that uh, I don't know it's pretty good I'm gonna take all of these again I find it fun to try to do them all even if we're gonna GG okay we need to uh, find some bison here and some grasslands so let's go east okay so we're completely blocked to the east uh, we will need more trees so let's go that away we have ourselves some uh, wonderful little elk here 
I've been calling these deer, but they are elk. They want us to find two trees. So if that tile happens to have the resource that we're looking for, we will uh, accomplish the goal there. I'm going to go for this one. Damn. Didn't uh, get any but one but one done. Wow, negative 186. Luckily, we don't owe money. But, you know, honestly, your first couple of runs could be horrible looking and scouting around the map. And then your last run or last couple of runs could be good because you, you know the lay of the land. But your first ones have got to be solid so you can actually figure out where the hell things are. I'm going to just accept these again. I don't mind. All right, there we go. Now we're starting to complete some contracts here. Oh, there we go. Locked in, boys. That's it. We got it. Let's go over here for a quest. He wants us to find three more gold. Sure, I have no problem helping you out. Because it's right there. Beautiful. All four contracts complete. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, we do uh, owe gold. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it zeroed out, but no, we do owe money. Uh-oh. Uh, I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. Does anyone have a phone number for me? Comment down below in the comment section if you've been paying attention. All right, well, now we've got four gold. Great. So our early runs do suck, or do hurt us. But honestly, again, going back to what I said, once we know where things are, could really help us on what contracts to take or what which one's not. So uh, a lot of bison over to this uh, west side, and gold too, so I'll take those. So we should be able to find three pretty easily over here. And uh, gold that we need too. Oh, uh, no pain, no game. Plus 25% gold on contract gain and loss. Oh, -ho! that would be a good one to get. All right, well, let's go ahead and at least get this gold here. Oh, it was a five and not a three. My mistake. Okay. Oh, he's going to be mad. You can go on these runs pretty quickly, I think. These ones I like, by the way. Nine gold per tile of that particular type. Th those ones I really like. Let's go with... Let's keep it easy, though. We're, we're kind of hurting now. There's no way we're going to do this one, but I think being rash and just trying to rush through it is a way to learn a little bit uh, quickly. And then, of course, we have a non-fail condition for this one contract here. Well, let's go this way and see what we get. Plus four. Uh, unfortunately, I can't take that. Plus 40 gold. Or 67. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six um, expeditions per the year. I guess each one of these is a expedition, then each day is maybe like a week. No, that'd be way too many. Well, who knows? It'd be kind of cool to go out at, uh, in the winter, though. All right, let's do this. We can use these to our advantage, these two contracts. We won't be able to win, but we will be able to at least break even. We won't be profitable, but we will be. Uh, we will pay off our debt. Out of curiosity, I'd actually like to go down here and see what else might be offered. Oh, uh, there's a lost prospector. I'm not going to take his request, but I just want to mosey on around. All right, there we go. So uh, 36 plus 36. Nice. 69 gold. Nice. Nice. And we're being thrown out again. Now, obviously, the, what would happen is the first year that we complete for 500 gold, then the gold gets set to 700 and then 9,000. You know, it'll only be exponential. But, uh, yeah, really playing it a lot more risky this time around. And that first time... That probably was going to be an easy win, but I'm more curious to know what waits for us out in the wilderness and what other tiles may be like, so pretty cool. All right, short and sweet on this game, but um, yeah, not quite Civilization, but it's got that vibe with the hexagons. Not quite Oregon Trail, but it's got the vibe with the whole look around for horses and whatnot and the wagon trains that come around too to gather resources, but a very cool demo. Now, this one should be out in quarter four of 2024, so we're talking anywhere between like uh, maybe October... Uh, to December and or maybe into next year if the devs happen to push it back but whatever it's a short sweet simple game 
one that's great for Steam Deck, and it's very straightforward with the uh, mechanics of just looking and scouting for things. I like that. I like that quite a bit. So, anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you think about this game down below. Seriously, leave your thoughts, because I really want to read them out and uh, respond to some of you and reply and uh, really think... Uh, more deeply about other games that we can play on the channel that are cool little turn-based games. Turn-based games are great, all the way back to Civ and XCOM and even this game and many, many more. So let me know if some other ones you'd like to see me try, City Builders, Civilization Builders, etc. And I'd love to try them here on the channel. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Again, check out the free demo on Steam. It looked pretty cool. Thanks to you guys for uh, DMing me on the Discord about that. Most of our games come in from all of you on the Discord asking me if I played something or if I've heard of it. And if I haven't gotten an email from developers or stumbled upon something on Twitter, it's typically you guys with a, a DM to a Steam store page that really helps me to find new stuff and share it with you. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.